this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Destry Rides Again, which makes its debut in the Criterion Collection on April 14th, 2020. Uh, it is, of course, the 1939 comedy western classic directed by George Marshall, starring Marlena Dietrich and Jimmy Stewart. Uh, notably, it was uh, Stewart's first foray into westerns, which he would, uh, a genre he would return to and be successful in, courtesy of Anthony Mann in the 1950s. Uh, and it was uh, Marlena Dietrich's. Uh, comeback. Uh, after uh, she stopped working with von Sternberg in the mid-1930s, she had a series of flops, including things like uh, Ernst Lubitsch's Angel, which uh, was just released by Kino Lorber, um, and was considering retiring until she was lobbied by the producer Joe Pasternak. Uh, so in short, it's, uh, it, it's one of the first examples of a great comedic western, even though it's a remake uh, of an earlier film, uh, about a, t a fictional town called Bottleneck. Uh, and Brian Dunleavy uh, d runs the local casino, but he cheats people in poker games and they kill the local sheriff. Uh, he's in cahoots with the mayor and they hire the town drunk to be the sheriff's replacement because they think they can run all over him, but the town drunk uh, decides that he's going to take his job seriously and he recruits uh, Destry, played by Jimmy Stewart, uh, who is the son of the man that the drunk used to be the deputy for. Uh, so in short, uh, Jimmy Stewart, who's uh, anti-violence and anti-gun, comes to town and tries to whip everybody into shape, although his romance with uh, Frenchie, who is in cahoots with Brian Donlevy, uh, kind of throws a monkey wrench in that. So one of the most famous sequences of Destry Rides Again is the cat fight between Una Merkel and Marlena Dietrich uh, in the saloon, which was uh, unchoreographed and shot in one uh, take uh, and looks amazing. Uh, they get uh, water dumped on them to stop the cat fight, uh, which that take happened a couple times, much to the chagrin of both of them. Uh, other than that, it's a it's a fascinating film, and some of the backstory is just as interesting, including the fact that uh, Stuart and Dietrich had an affair, uh, although she had an affair with a lot of her co-stars, uh, resulting in a, uh, a pregnancy that she had to abort. Um, the look of the film is uh, the look of this release. It's a 4K restoration. It looks amazing. Uh, the extra features include an interview with film critic Imogene Sarah Smith, uh, an interview with a Jimmy Stewart biographer, uh, illustrated audio excerpts from a 1973 AFI interview with Marshall uh, in the 1945 Lux radio adaptation where Jimmy Stewart reprises his role uh, and Joan Blondell uh, stepped in as Frenchie. Uh, notably, Marshall, who's probably best known uh, for How the West Was Won. Um, remade this film in 1954 as Destry, starring Audie Murphy. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Dietrich's was, uh, performance was uh, made fun... Well, uh, Madeline Kahn uh, does a Dietrich number in Blazing Saddles, which is kind of uh, an homage to her, which I think is also worth uh, taking a look at after uh, revisiting Destry Rides Again. Uh, I'd give the film three and a half out of five stars, and Criterion's release, four out of five. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.